Hello and welcome to TFC. I am Naveen. The start of IPL is actually led by a series of fascinating events and these are the three key people who have influenced IPL. Kerry Packer, Subhash Chandra and Lalit Modi. Let's begin with Kerry Packer. In 1974, Australia, 37-year-old Kerry Packer took control of his father's business empire along with the TV network Channel 9. He was a fan of cricket and wanted to televise Australia as matches on his channel he approached the australian cricket board with an offer of 1.5 million australian dollars but the board declined and rights were given to the government broadcaster abc at a much lower price this angered kerry packer so in retaliation he made a big plan he formed his own professional cricket competition called World Series Cricket. This tournament shocked the cricket boards around the world. Years later, in the mid 2000s, something similar happened to Subhash Chandra, the owner of ZTV and the newly acquired 10 Sports. He too wanted to telecast the Indian team's cricket matches. His company bid for the telecast rights, but despite being the highest bidder, he never got the broadcasting rights. Subhash Subhash Chandra was deeply disappointed but then something unexpected happened on 13 March 2007 the 50 over world cup began in west indies everyone was excited but the hopes of indian fans quickly diminished india was out of the world cup in the first round itself the fans were deeply disappointed subhash chandra saw this as a right time to announce a rebel cricket league in may 2007 subhash chandra announced indian cricket league india's first domestic t20 league with a prize money of 2.5 crores soon big names started joining the tournament however bcci was not at all happy bcci threatened a lifetime ban on anyone joining the new icl still amongst all the obstacles icl began on a successful note seeing the rising popularity of icl members of bcci were worried at this time let's discuss about our third character lalit modi he was then bcci's vice president Lalit Modi was the scion of the business conglomerate Modi Group. In 1993, he established Modi Entertainment Networks and had become an Indian broadcaster for Fashion TV and ESPN. But within a few years, he lost all the broadcasting rights. He later started an online lottery business, but that too didn't survive. Lalit Modi now wanted to create a name for himself, and so to counter ICL's increasing power, he suggested the the Indian Premier League based on the American NFL franchise model to decide the owners of this new league an auction was held on 24 January 2008 big names including Mukesh Ambani Shah Rukh Khan Vijay Mallya all took part in the auction and finally eight franchises were sold for 723 million dollars or over 3000 crores at that time and on 18th April 2008 the first season of IPL commenced with the presence of world class cricketers bollywood glamour and the backing of bcci the IPL proved to be a huge success and soon icl was forced to shut down Now 13 years later the combined valuation of all IPL teams has crossed 10 billion dollars or over 76000 crores and IPL has emerged as a money making powerhouse for the BCCI so this was the eventful story behind the start of IPL thanks for watching the filmy cut